Hi guys, I'm on here of GadgetPilipinas.net and we are here at a secret venue because ASOS has just, you know, gave us a sneak peek, binigyan niya tayo sneak peek of their newest laptops. To. So later, we're gonna interview Nico Redacto, the technical PR for their uh, consumer laptops to get to know more about these new devices so that you guys can find out whether it's a good laptop for you and uh, hopefully it helps you in deciding kung yan ba yung next laptop nyo. So, muntahan na natin siya. Hi guys, Eman here again of GadgetPilipinas.net and ito, kasama na natin si Nico from ASUS Philippines who will be giving us a uh, brief tour of the new uh, devices that they showed us today. No? Uh, so Nico, uh, let's start with the this these uh, new uh, 13 slate OLEDs. No, uh, I uh, guys, we already have a review of the default uh, slate OLED on our site. No, so Nico, ano ba yung pinagkaiba ng standard na slate with these ones, and uh, what can uh, customers expect? No, na bago dito sa mga to? Okay, so in terms of uh, well, let's. Uh, Let's discuss first the obvious bits. So these are uh, artist edition designs. Mm. So we have two versions. So one is uh, Philip Colbert. Mm. Okay. And then this one is uh, designed by Stephen Harrington. So these are official artworks that are made in collaboration with mm. uh, the VivoBook uh, Slate series. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So uh, as you can see, it comes with uh, different accessories out of the box. So you get uh, you get a special edition sleeve with nice. a very unique design. And then you also get these uh, stickers that you can put on your keyboard. Ayun! Yan. Ganda! So, pwede mo siyang ilagay sa keyboard. Para sa mga very artsy, no? Mm -hmm. Yung mga gusto nilang very artsy yung keyboard nila. Yes, uh-uh. And then you also get this cute little stylus holder. Oh! So, ito, ito actually mismo yung parang mascot. Mm. or ni Philip Colbert. So okay. he's very well known for this uh, lobster uh, figure. Mm. So that's why ito yung parang main inspiration for all of the different artworks. So you even get a custom wallpaper mm. and then even okay. yung box, box. niya is also an uh, official artwork from Philip Colbert. So aside from that, uh, the laptop itself, there's also some design changes. So yeah. uh, first off, the, oh. the keyboard cover has his uh, trademark mm. or uh, logo signature. Mm. And then at the back, the kickstand. Uh, <laughs> he also designed uh, this kickstand, so it has a cargo strap. And then it has his own little parang badge here, the lobster. It really is a fashion statement. Yes, isn't uh, it? And then the, lap, uh, the device itself. Yeah, it's oh, it's the same, same. this one. Uh, but there is also some ano, some uh, customizations in the software. For example, yun nga yung wallpapers, mm -hmm. and then there's also a uh, oh, yeah. so there's also a uh, para special uh, boot logo. Oh, okay. Ni, na uh, parang this one. Sa, parang logo, sa yeah. space edition. Yes. Okay. Uh -oh. okay. So that's the Philip Colbert edition. Yep. So we move on to. The Stephen Harrington mm -hmm. edition. So, ito naman, uh, it's more of a chill beach uh, type of uh, artwork. So, since yun nga, uh, Stephen Harrington is from California. Yeah. So, again, it comes with uh, different accessories like uh, this uh, Stephen Harrington edition sleeve. And that. Yan. And then, instead of the stylus holder, so you also get this folio case. Ooh. So that's the difference, no? Dun sa isa, stylus holder, ito, yeah, folio it's a case. Folio case. Ang ganda. It's a folio clear case, and then the artwork is similar mm. to this one. Mm -hmm. And then the laptop itself, ayan. So it also comes with custom artwork. And then ito naman yung. Ooh. Ito yung kickstand. Ang ganda. So for this one, yeah, still. Uh, the device is still the same, but mm. again, meron din siyang Stephen Harrington na 
bootlog. Mm. So it also kahit yung ano, the little things like the <laughs> pen holder, uh, yun din, meron din siyang Ganun, uh, magnetic pen holder oh, na merong ano, na merong uh, lobster. And, and this comes with a box, no? Yes. You don't have to buy it. All of these thing. comes out of the box. Mm. In terms of uh, specifications naman, ano yung do they have anything different compared to the standard uh, state OLED? Um uh, most of the specs are actually similar mm. with the exception of the storage. Storage. So the parang vanilla version mm. of the slate uh, comes with 128 gigs yeah. of storage. So these artist editions will come with 256 gigs of storage. And uh, if ever, can they even upgrade that? Ba? Or is that really fixed? Na? Uh, it's on board. But there is available expansion via micro SD. Ah, okay. So you can uh-huh. use it like like a phone, no? Parang yes. Uh, pwede kang mag, ano, okay, pwede okay. mag storage extension. That's good. That's uh-huh. good. Though. Very, very nice for creatives. No? And then, I believe uh, this is also good for office work. No? For mm. office work, media consumption. Yes. Yung mga light tasks no, that you do every day. No, tambay ka lang sa coffee shop and then you can use this. Yes. No? So, is, so, yeah, so is, is, is it gonna be like... Since you've now released like two versions of this na artist, so magiging regular thing na bato ni Jesus that they're gonna, I mean, they've already done it with other other models, no? So is it gonna be like a consistent na magkakaroon na ng iba't ibang version for even for the other other devices ba? Uh, as of now, uh, these are the only two parang collaborations mm. Mm. we've done. Mm. But uh, ROG already also did it with yeah. Acronym, yeah. right? Mm. And then locally, we're also partnering with other brands like uh, CDBPK. Ah, yeah. So uh, l- we can expect that at least uh, on the local side, we're continuing to do these collaborations. Mm. That's nice. That's uh, nice. For the Vivo Book lineup. Okay. So let's uh, move on to the next device, which is the... The ZenBook Pro 16X OLED. So, uh, what what is the ano naman yung special dito sa laptop na pang? Alright, so this is our newest uh, Creator Series laptop. So it's a uh, it's a sort of continuation of uh, the design features from the previous uh, yung mga laptops namin yeah. with the Active Aerodynamic System mm. combined with the ZenBook Pro. Uh, philosophy. Mm-hmm. So as you can see, uh, the hinge is raised uh, here. Yep. So the keyboard uh, actually has a uh, panel tilt to give it some breathing room. And yeah, uh, there's uh, RGB. Kung may RGB guys, may RGB siya. So not only is this uh, RGB lighting, but it's actually WRGB. So ah, it's okay. white RGB. That mm-hmm. means aside from the usual RGB LEDs, meron siyang additional na white for yung regular backlighting ah, natin. Ah. So if you wanna like go mon- monotone lang na white, you can do that too. No? Yes. Can... Uh, so there's actually a couple of settings that you can use uh, for the backlighting. So this is no ordinary backlighting. So it, it's what we call intelligent backlighting. Oh, okay. So uh, it's all customizable via via the My Asus application. So if you go here to the customization and exclusives tab, so makikita mo dyan yung different ano yung different lighting effects. Like for example, this is the raindrop. Uh, effect and then if you go rainbow if you want to go the full RGB oh okay so this is per key lighting so it's so not you, lighting zones you, you can uh, can you actually assign uh, a color for each key as of now not yet not yet uh-uh. but ayun nga, as you saw in the raindrop so it's really per key lighting mm, okay and then for uh, for example if you just want it low key you can set a static backlight oh kapag medyo gusto mo huh? Uh, formal, na, walang, hindi, walang uh, RGB. Yes. <laughs> and then there are also other lighting effects like this one uh, during shutdown, for example. Ah, okay. And then this one when you turn on the some of the mm. power saving options. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and so you can see, uh, for example, kapag low battery sa Windows 11, it automatically goes to battery saver mode, right? Yeah. So you get a visual notification. And then when you change power profiles as well, so makikita mo yung animation. Mm, okay. 
and then also uh, just the simple things like lighting uh, yung mag kapag mag insert ka ng USB uh, and then aside from that uh, the left uh, the left side color particularly yung letter A mm-hmm. the logo at the back follows that color as well ah okay so doon siya nakasunod mm-hmm. okay so when you actually turn off yung RG yung lighting na to sa keyboard this will also this will turn also. off ah, yes. okay. so they're like a uh, partner sila hindi sila <laughs> ano so you can see it here actually kapag ayan uh, balik tayo doon sa rain doon sa rain drop mm-hmm. If we set it, yung kulay ng A, yun yung sinusundan na. Oh. Ano? Um, you know, you know, you, you know, you know what my wish is? Like, sana lahat ng Zen book in the future may umiilaw na ganyan. That would, that would be very, very nice. Ayan. So, uh, aside from the, ano, aside from the lighting, so this is first and foremost a creator laptop. Yeah. So, in terms of the specs, we have a Core i9 processor, mm-hmm. so Core i9 H series, and then an RTX 3060 uh, GPU. So, this is more of for the people who medyo mas mabigat in workload mm-hmm. yes. no? than the usual office tasks. No? Mm-hmm. So, if you're like uh, someone na nag edit ng videos, or doing a photo editing, heavy photo editing, this is the laptop. Yes. Right? Okay. And speaking of, ano, uh, speaking of editing, so we also have this uh, neat feature we call the Asus Dial Pad. Mm-hmm. So this one is actually a capacitive uh, parang dial with a uh, parang with a switch or a button switch in the middle. So uh, if you press the button switch. You can select which uh, feature you want to adjust. Mm-hmm. So for Adobe applications, uh, meron tayong ano, meron tayo preset profile. So for example, if you have it open, uh, meron dyan, you can set brush sliders, uh, your timeline mm-hmm. uh, magnification or timeline zoom, etc. Uh, for example. So, so for now, uh, which applications that does it support? Right now, it supports uh, the more common Adobe applications. So, mm-hmm. si Photoshop, mm-hmm. si Premiere, si Lightroom, mm-hmm. After Effects, uh, Illustrator. Okay, yeah. okay. And uh, are there like any plans in the future to extend the support to, like for example, Resolve or other other editing apps, no? popular, uh, popular ones? So, for our software team, they're always collaborating with other content creation. Mm-hmm. Uh, app developers. So we're uh, let's see in the future okay. Uh, okay. which one, yeah. uh, which suit they support. Ho- next. Hopefully, yeah, yeah hopefully. Because oh. some of our features already support Adobe and Autodesk. So let's see which uh, which software developers they oh. partner with. Okay. Yeah. This is gonna be offered uh, in only one variant, I think. One yes. Variant. So okay. this. Uh, this is uh, the only variant will be launching locally. So yung Core i9 oh. and the RTX 3060. Talagang the most beefed up version, uh, no? So no. it will have 32 gig of LTDDR5 and also one terabyte of PCIe4 SSD. So the fastest component. Is that the maximum storage that you can get, or can you like upgrade it in the future? You can upgrade it uh, still. There's an M.2 ah, slot. Pa slot. It's removable. Uh, I believe the RAM is not upgradable. Um, but storage is. Yes, oh, the storage is upgradable. Which is good. Because uh, I think that for, for some people no, who have, especially when you're working with large uh, amounts of files, mm-hmm. lalo when you're, say, you're doing 4K, yeah, 4K, yung yeah I, I could imagine that, you know, uh, that, that one terabyte will quickly disappear in, mm-hmm. in you know, so yeah. I would imagine that people will ask na, pwede ba namin i-upgrade? And that's a good thing that they can. No? Yeah, uh, also speaking of storage, uh, we do have other expansion options. So for example, for really fast external storage, mm-hmm. we have two Thunderbolt 4 capable USB oh, yeah. Type-C ports. Mm-hmm. And then our SD card slot as well is the, now the standard size SD card. So hindi na siya yung micro SD that we had before on the Pro Duo series. So you can use uh, directly yung mga SD cards from the cameras, from yeah, cameras, that's, video, that's, the, that's the hassle because yes. you no, know, with, with micro SD, no, mm-hmm. unless you're using like the micro SD as adapter, no, yes, but uh, personally, I use um, just that SD, so that would be good for me, yeah, and oh. also the mm-hmm. performance of the full size SD, yeah, uh. I, I, I heard kanina okay yung, okay yung speakers niya. Uh, 
How many speakers does the thing have? So right now, uh, it has six speakers. Six. So two high frequency drivers and four bass drivers. So dedicated siya for bass and dedicated for the yes. high frequency. Okay, that's nice. So it's a quad driver. Uh, or rather, it's a six driver speaker system. Okay, so that is the Zenbook Pro 16X OLED. No? And then we're gonna move on to uh, the last but not the least. No? And actually my favorite of the bunch. This is the Zenbook uh, S13 yes. OLED. Uh, Mali lang yung sticker doon, guys. Yes. Uh, <laughs> so, the, S, uh, the S13 OLED is actually our lightest Ultrabook. So, even lighter than the Zenbook 14, even lighter than the previous Zenbook 13 OLED. So, this one is made from uh, magnesium aluminum alloy. Oh. So, this is actually the same material that we use for our ultralight uh, mm. expert books. Oh, yeah. So, from the commercial yeah, line, yeah. it uh -huh. uses the same alloy. So, we've been able to get the weight down to only one kilogram. One kilogram. Wow. It's technically 995 grams. Pero <laughs> it's not even a kilogram. Yes. So, it's uh, less than that. So aside from that, so it has a 2.8K OLED display, and then uh, it'll come with the latest Ryzen uh, 6000. Ryzen 6000 series. So this model has the Ryzen uh, 7, and then it will have the Radeon integrated graphics. Yeah, that, that's interesting, no? Because I've been hearing a lot of good reviews for the Ryzen 6000 series, no? Especially though, because of the uh, because of the GPU, no. Uh, our DNA too, I believe. Yes. Uh, so we can really expect some good performance with this thing. And also, uh, how about the battery life? Because I think if you're gunning for something like this, uh, one of the concerns would be battery life. It's so so bang nipis kasi niya. So so how long uh, how long will this thing last in a single charge? So our battery uh, our battery life claims for this. Uh, on 1080p video playback test is currently 19 hours. 19 hours. That and is that is yeah. Wow. So in everyday usage, you can essentially expect it will last you the whole day and maybe a bit more. And that is amazing, especially for something that's as small as this. Mm -hmm. No, you really won't expect that kind of <laughs> battery life. It's so nipis niya, no? And I think this also has the the new back, no? Yes. The, so if I this, remember, yeah, the this is the new monogram design. Yeah. Uh, if if you remember, this uh, this originally came from the 30th edition Zenbook. Mm, yeah. The the white uh, the white leather Zenbook. Yeah. From way uh, back. And um, what colors will you be offering this laptop with? So right now, uh, we, what we have here is the ponder blue color. This is the ponder blue. Oh, yes. it looks nice. It looks nice. But we'll also be offering it in white, beige, and aqua salad. Ayun. So, medyo so there will be four colors. So maarte kayo sa kulay. Ayan, pwede kayo mamili. Medyo girly-girly, uh, nung ka sa beige. Gusto medyo clean look, nung ka sa white. But I think that this ponder, ponder blue is really, really nice. No? And uh, Nico, uh, if I remember correctly, when we reviewed the the Space Ed and the 14, all of them had uh, perpetual licenses for Office. Yes. Ito rin ba, ito rin ba mga bagong devices natin will all come with, with that? Yes, all of them will come with the Microsoft Office uh, 2021. So it's the latest version of Microsoft Office. Mm. And that's for uh, life, no? Yes, for life oh, For life, guys. So mm. your license niya is tied with the device. Mm. So as long as you have the device, you have full access to Microsoft Office. Oh, diba? That's a good deal already. The, is the Adobe thing still up? Uh, the Adobe bundle, uh, there are three. We have currently two different promos. Mm. So for the Slate 13, uh, and then also this one. This one. So it has free one month subscription. Oh. Okay. Uh, for our creator laptops, they will have three months. Three months, okay. So depending on what you guys, you'll also get. Adobe subscription. So, depende sa device, no, either one month or three months. No? So, mal malaking bagay yun, guys, lalo na for creators. No? Ma malaking matitipid nyo. And you also get office for, for life. So, uh, so yun. Uh, anyway, uh, Nico, is there uh, like an estimated date as to when these things will be available here? Um, I can't mention yet estimated yeah. dates, mm -hmm. but uh, currently, we can expect the 
the 16X, mm-hmm. the Pro 16X, mm-hmm. and the S13 to come within this quarter. This quarter? Yes. Okay, okay. So guys, yun, abangan yun na. Quarter. Abangan yun na. Kung, 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 kung balak yung bumili ngayon, wag muna. Intangin yun na lang tong mga to. Uh, they're coming, they're coming very soon. And you know, I we can't wait for you guys to try them out. And also, hopefully, we can also get uh, you know review units, uh, review samples, so we can also give our opinion if these laptops are really as good as they say they are. Okay, so that's it for me. Uh, thank you, Nico. Thank you so much for for the uh, interview. And uh, that's it for me, guys. Uh, again, this is Eman of Gadget Filipinas, and this is these are the new devices from ASUS. Hopefully, we'll get to know more about them soon. Thank you for watching.